Okay, we're going to quickly look at number two um, of Wayek, uh, June 2019. Okay, all right, number two question of the practical question that's paper three is the practical. Okay, uh, use a spreadsheet ap application to do the following. Uh, I hope we know what a spreadsheet application is. An example would be. Um, Microsoft Excel okay you also have lots of one two three pitch three and all that so but for us here we're using Microsoft Excel okay that is mostly what you find in Nigeria mostly okay so um, it says in cell a1 type my one week expenses on five items cell a1 my one week expenses on five items so you go to cell a1 you type uh, always remember to type this exactly the way it is appearing okay please take note of that is very important okay it has initial caps my one week expenses on five items Okay, I hope I got that right. My one week expenses on five items. Uh, my one week expenses on five items. Okay, yeah. Okay, in row two, type column by column the following. So in row two, you are typing the following column by column item. First term, first day, second day, third day, fourth day, to seventh day, column by column. So you quickly go to your row two then you type item right they are all in caps item first day second day third day fourth day fifth is it fifth day uh, you know, let me confirm that. Uh, okay, fifth day up to seventh day. Okay, uh, sixth day, seventh day. Okay, um, if you notice, you would uh, see that they are all in um, the ND first, second, and all that um they are in superscript okay they are up so we need to take them up um i always like to present my work exactly the way it is appearing in uh the question especially words that are in quotation um how do i do this again is it correct Uh, I'm trying to remember the shortcut. Sorry about that. I'm trying to remember the shortcut I used. Okay, Control One. Is it? Oh yes, that's very correct. Control One. So uh, let me do that again. You select the text you want to make either or uh, superscript or subscript. This is how to do it in Excel. Okay, but if if you're in using Microsoft Word, you're going to use Control Control D, I think. Yes, but for um, Excel, you use Control One. Okay, Control One will bring you up here, so you decide if it is upper script, uh, superscript, sorry, or subscript. So in our case, it's superscript. So I'll click OK. So you see, it has gone up. So I'm going to do the same for others okay i'm gonna do the same for others uh going to do the same for others yeah yeah i would want to be a lot faster than this but there's there's no way of selecting them in uh, together at once so i need to do them one after the other Sorry about that. Not a very patient person, but <laughs> for the exam sake, we'll try. Okay. 
All right, so I think we're done with that. Yep. Moving forward. Um, in column A, starting from A3 to A7, list the items you spent money on. So it is your choice to list items you spend money on. Okay, so this will count for 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 peculiarity because uh, 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 it will be difficult to find persons listing the same set of items. Okay, yeah. Okay, so in column A, starting from A3 to A7, so A3 to A7, items I spend money on. This is it, A3 to A7, items I spend money on. Okay, wow, <laughs> data, <laughs> very important. Uh, data, food, it's funny enough that I thought of data before food. Okay, um, subscription, that is for pay TV and all that. Okay, uh, to A7, so um, what else, what else, what else, what else, transportation. Items, transportation, uh, clothes. Okay, all right. So, um, what else do we have here? Enter the amount spent. Okay, enter the amount spent on each item for each day in their respective columns. So, okay, so we need to know the amount we spend on each item. Okay. So, I'm going to um, select all and double-click on the column line here so that it will be evenly distributed for me to see them clearly. Okay. Um, so, I should write the amount I spend. Uh, uh, I, can, I, can I remember exactly? So, I'm just going to type... In any amounts that come to my head quickly 300 uh, subscription daily numbers that come to my head uh, okay let me change this uh, all right, so I had to quickly um, skip to the point where I've entered uh, numbers, different numbers representing the amounts I've I spent on these various items. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to leave this at water, but you can decide to change any item you spend cash on. You're free to do that. So quickly, uh, let us continue. Um, where are we? Enter the amount spent. Okay, we've done that already. Note, select your own items and the amount spent, okay? So the items have to be yours. In cells A, uh, this, this is I2, actually. In cells I2 and I8, type total. So we'll do that quickly. I2, we type total. Total is written in uppercase, right? And then I2 and where? And A8, this should be it total okay um what else what else what else what else what else total oh naira total naira okay very important um i think you go to insert to put the naira sign symbol Yeah, Naira sign should be somewhere here. I'm trying to remember the code again. There is a code for it. Can I remember? Uh, I think it's A something something something. Okay, look at it right there. Good. Sorry, I wasn't looking. Yeah, 20A6. In case you can't find it, you just type 20A6. Luckily for me, I have used it recently, so that's why I could find it here okay please take note of that so you insert it okay all right so we can now close um i'll just copy it and paste it in a in i2 okay so i've done that already um 
where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Using formula or function, compute the total expenses for each day and for each week. So we do for each day and for each week. So for each day, for each day, this is what we spend. And then uh, that's a quick way of doing this. Uh, this is this is weekly. This is daily. So I'll just select them like this and get the total the sum so so but i don't need this so i'll take this out so this is the total for this day total for this day total for this day and this is the total for this week for each item okay uh, so that's a quick way to get the job done um okay mm, okay we've done that create border for each item okay Create borders around the table, insert footer and type in your full name and index number. So you create border around the table, quickly create border around the table. Okay, so come right here, select all of that, go to borders and then I'll do all borders. Alright, so I've done that. Um, what else? Okay, insert your name your full name and your index number that is your exam number okay so i'll quickly go to insert there should be header and footer somewhere there where are you okay head and footer seem to be running away from me okay if i can't find it i'll just come here I'll go to layout. All right. Good day, everyone. Uh, my name is Simon Luchi. Um, today we're going to talk about Wayek. Okay, so um, I can't seem to find the header and the footer, but that's a quick way to get that job done. Uh, it is supposed to be inside inside, but I don't know. All right, I'll just quickly go to uh, views here. This is normal view, page layout. Uh, let me see, good. So the header and the footer is gonna appear here. Okay, so where were we told to insert? Uh, okay insert your footer and type in your full name and index number okay so footer actually not in the header so you scroll down a little bit come down a little bit you should see the footer somewhere there good so anywhere left right center okay so you are not to, yes, exactly to where exactly to put it so choose anywhere that you like okay so and then um, my range number uh, anything as uh, zero one okay so once we're done with that what else should we do um, number now below the table type in the formula that was used in cell I eight in cell I eight so just so one cell I eight so you quickly go to so you cannot go back to normal okay scroll up cell i8 where is cell i8 this is cell i8 is this one okay so they want to know the total of the total aha okay 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 Formula Intel I8. So the total of the total, that is the crown total. Okay, so they want to know the total of the total. Okay, so which is here, I8 is there. Okay, so how do we find that out? Okay, either the total this way or the total this way should give us the same answer, I think. Okay, we have one, one, 11,430. Okay, so let me delete this and then I'll run through here. I'm sure I will still have the same thing. 
11,430 so we are correct so either through this way or through that way it will still work okay so um i don't know let me choose here I prefer this way okay so they want to know the formula here so this is the formula that they are looking for so i will advise you copy this out this way okay and then you press your enter ah okay you press your enter okay so once you do that you can come here and write question number what uh that's question number uh where are you question number i okay question number i i like i i yes question number i i so you come back quickly you do i put it in bracket i bracket again i and then they want to see the formula you used okay so you can just paste it there okay all right so what's the next one what's the next one um for summing from b3 to h3 summing from b3 to h3 okay so b3 to h this is b3 to h b3 to h3 so they want to see this one okay you sum from b3 to h3 this is what they want to see so you s copy this you don't need the equal to the okay press your enter and then come here to i i i and then you paste sorry you paste okay you paste your what you've copied that is the formula they are looking for um what else what else what else for summing this will run that note enclose your formula in quotes okay they want it in quotes okay save your work with your full name in the folder created on desktop so you should have done that already so it's very important please to create a folder on your desktop preferably and save all of your work there so that uh, whatever happens they can always locate your work in case there is a mix-up okay all right so print your work and submit to the supervisor so that's that that is the only thing there okay so i'll quickly go there and put those formulas in quotation very important you hold your shift key and you press that hold your shift key you press the quotation mark hold your shift key and press the quotation mark all right that's that um is there any other thing that we're missing out on nothing else okay so this is basically what we are supposed to have now so you print your work i would prefer you print this in landscape because of this shape uh, okay so that it will not be split into two if you watch that line that line shows you that this is another page okay another way to solve that problem would be reducing this this way okay it will still solve the problem but i would want it to show clearly so that they can still know that you typed this all in a1 okay in cell a1 all right so that's that oh please 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 i made a mistake okay um here it is very important to include the equal sign please 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 very important <laughs> because uh every function or formula in excel must begin with equal to very important please it was a mistake okay sorry about that thank you see you around bye subscribe like and hit the notification button okay bye i'll see you in question number three